okay welcome to my channel in this video we will see about how to use kpis in aws quick site so to begin with let's go to the visual pane under visual pane click add and this is the icon to add kpi or key performance indicator based visuals so let me actually right reduce the size of this visual so that it fits in the screen okay so now i'm going to actually um, use again this annual salary the value so now we can see okay total sum of the annual salary is being shown there is a trend group field well over here i'm going to add uh, the higher date so now we can actually see okay the annual salary the last okay date annual salary and it is compared with the previous date okay annual salary which is 144 and uh, it says there is a difference of 120.16 percentage also right uh, the bottom okay uh, area chart okay it's showing the distribution for each day so which is however not desirable we can even uh, okay change this aggregation to year so if you see by year we can see that okay 2020 had okay 7.9 million whereas 2021 uh, which is having 9.5 million so this is going to be a, a difference of around 19.95 percentage so we can even change it to you know like uh, uh, other thing like quarter so this will compare the quarter three with quarter four and what's the difference accordingly the spike chart has many granularities so yeah we can go by month also we can go by year etc so i'm going to actually default it to uh, maybe like year so in this case right uh, yeah we are having this representation however we can actually change the uh, layout at the top right right you will see this kpi layout icon if you press this you will get two options currently we are seeing this option where we are seeing okay the absolute number for the current year and the previous year what is the absolute number and the percentage difference so if i click this then you will see okay the current year and the previous year current year in the left hand side previous year in the right hand side and then you will see the percentage difference here so this is one, okay uh, how we are actually right going to organize this kpa visual based on the kpa layouts now i'm going to close this let's see what are the different properties this kpa visual has to yeah so we can obviously okay edit the card title let's see this as okay total salary other than that we have this kpa options so it is uh, yeah having this thing called like primary value displayed currently it is doing comparison if you want to show in terms of okay actual then you can go for that so in that case right, it is showing last year uh, the actual value value was 9.5 million and the last year it is 7.9 million and the percentage difference is 19.95 so let's okay put back it to the older way that is comparison also right uh, we can change the comparison method whether you want actually difference difference will show in terms of absolute value between okay 9.5 and 7.9 the difference is 1.5 and also we can show this difference in terms of percentage okay so it is coming around to be like uh, 1.5 of so in the percentage okay option we can actually find how much is 9.5 out of okay 7.95 million which is going to be like 119.95 percentage and this is the default one difference as a percentage so the difference between these two will be taken in the numerator the denominator will be having 7.9 that comes around to be like 19.95 million 1.5 million roughly that comes around to be like 90.95 difference so yeah these are the different okay comparison methods we have also we can change the number of okay uh, decimals after this decimal point uh, yeah i can change it to like 19 percentage or even okay just rounded off value 20 percentage so yeah we can also like try to you know like hide the visual shown at the bottom using this trigger button 
other than that okay we also have this visual okay where, how do we want to represent that currently it is in areas part line we can also show it in this part line format or progress bar format okay we will restore it to the default one which is the areas part line we can even show tooltip so if i actually point my mouse over here right it will show like yeah which year and what is the and salary yeah so these are the different okay options we have in the kpi so now let's like quickly calculate for our hr data set okay different okay kpi metrics which is possible so to do this right i'm going to add the kpi by clicking on the kpi indicator icon so now let me reduce this size so first i am going to calculate the uh, head count to do the head count right i'm going to go with the employee id i'm going to add in the measure like this so this one i'm going to add this as head count this is total head count uh, let me center this heading click save i can even reduce this size a little bit i can increase the width a little bit yeah so next i can actually use this same duplicate visual to this sheet and now i can actually find the average salary right so instead of this i'm going to add the average annual salary instead of sum i'm going to go and show okay the average salary we can change the heading as average salary let me add one more okay uh, visual by duplicating this over here right i am going to add uh, okay maybe uh, the bonus percentage average bonus percentage let me replace this instead of sum let me go for average that makes more sense so here i can show it as a percent okay and then next uh, okay let me change the title as average bonus percent also right uh, let me duplicate this visual to the sheet now uh, maybe i will try to count the number of okay exits that has happened okay i will replace this with this so the count oh, this is high date okay sorry i need to go with exit date so exit date okay says okay the number of total okay 85 employees have succeeded so like this right we can quickly make okay kpi visuals uh, on the fly by you know like first uh, working on the first kpi visual and then duplicating to the other visuals the properties of it so that might be like specific okay settings that we might need to you know like apply for example right in this format option we can show in terms of unit instead of this large numbers so i'm going to show in terms of million or even okay thousands okay thousands would be better similarly here yeah, this decimal also right we can actually format we can round it off so yes so these are the different options right we can use in the kpi so we have seen like how to use the trend chart how to do comparison with respect to the time dimension also we have seen like how to use one kpi visual and then replicate the same properties to the other visual later we can do some customization on top of that according to the metrics that we are displaying so with this right i'm ending my video on key performance indicator visual in the next video we will see about different okay other visuals that are available in the quick site how to use them yeah thanks for watching